Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and and a yearly option. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the video. Hey everyone, John Burr from Mammoth Interactive here. I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to use a green screen on the Mac specifically for OBS. Now, here's the thing about OBS. If you don't know, uh, it's a great software to do any live streams or recording. And one of the things that you can do is you can actually use green screen. Now, it's a little bit harder to do on a Mac than a PC. So let's go ahead and let's uh, figure that out here. So first of all, we need to open up OBS. And if you haven't downloaded it, go download it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a uh, video capture device, okay? So just like that here, you can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And the device here is uh, this FaceTime here. And look at that, we now have um, an image. Uh, and you can see here. Now, you also have a bunch of presets, um, and this will be a little bit more important if you're streaming versus if you're not here. And the other thing is that I actually have to download a specific version of OBS. If it crashes when you hit the uh, device here, then that's gonna be an issue, um, which is easily solved by downloading a different version. So it crashed and I didn't know what it was doing. And then of course, with as a typical OBS fashion, uh, you can make it as small or as big as you want. So I'm just gonna actually make it maybe that big um, for now and we'll maybe add in an image later, okay? So the next thing we need to do is we need to, and this is where the PC version is different, okay? So we're gonna add in filters. Now there's a reason why filters is being called filters on, on Mac here. And it's because in order to make something like this work in Xcode, Xcode and Mac has this filter feature in it. Um, and you can actually do the green screen quite easily if you're making a Mac OS app or an iOS app here. It's actually built in to the uh, to Xcode. So anyway, there's a bunch of filters that you can add in here, but what we're gonna do is we're basically going to add in the chroma key one here, okay? And you can call it whatever you want here and look at that. We're already, uh, we're already green screen here. Now, there's a couple things you can do. You can either do green screen or blue screen and you can see that they're quite different here. Now, there's usually a, a question as to, you know, what's the difference between green and blue? Well, you know, if you've ever watched like an old movie um, and you'll notice that there's blue screen there. Uh, the, the One of the main differences is that um, green screen works better with digital cameras and uh, versus film. And then um, blue look, works better in low light situations, but lighting's really tricky. So it's a lot, so in short, if I'm just using a webcam and believe it or not, I just have fluorescent lights literally above me. Um, you know, the green screen is gonna be a lot better. Now, of course, you can see, you know, if I just do this, uh, you know, you can see some of the green screen in there. Now you can go ahead and play around with these settings and you can kind of make that work here, the smoothness, etc. And, you know, for the most part, the default settings are pretty good. And, you know, I think it looks pretty good. The opacity is kind of fun. Where'd you go? No. <laughs> but for the most part, um, you know, you can play around with all the settings here. Now, um, um, there we go, the defaults work. And I think that's pretty good. And remember, the green screen is only gonna be so good. Like for what we're doing, I think it's fine. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and push close and there you go. And now we can do and put whatever we want in the background. Now, of course, um, we can also add in other things like, um, for example, an image, all right? So we can just simply add in an image here and then let's browse. And then I have a nice image here and push OK. And then you'll notice, hey, where, where am I? Well, you have to make sure that you move it up. Okay, and there you go. So you can make me as, you can make yourself as big. So if you wanted to do something like this and be like, hey everyone, etc., Or you can make it smaller in the corner here. And there you go. And that is how you do green screen in OBS on a Mac specifically. All right. So thanks for watching this video. Um, what I highly recommend that you do is this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital courses down below. So if you like this tutorial, we have a ton of tutorials on a similar uh, vein here. We have a lot of coding tutorials. We have a lot of tutorials on design and 3D modeling, etc. And remember that every dollar that 
we get from the products that you buy below goes into making more content. So uh, if you go ahead and purchase those products, the best way to help with this channel is to buy Mammoth Interactive subscription. You get thousands of hours of content and hundreds of courses uh, for a low, low monthly fee. We also have a yearly option too. So thanks for listening and I'll see you in another video.